La trama rusa sigue complicando al presidente de los Estados Unidos, Donald Trump. Esta vez declaró el ex director del FBI, James Comey, ante la Comisión de Inteligencia del Senado y allí ratificó algunos dichos que podrían comprometer a Donald Trump, sobre todo por un cargo, obstrucción de la justicia. Vemos el informe. Director Comey, did the president at any time ask you to stop the FBI investigation into Russian involvement in the 2016 U.S. elections? Not to my understanding, no. Did any individual working for this administration, including the Justice Department, ask you to stop the Russian investigation? No. Do you believe this will rise to the obstruction of justice? I don't know. That, that's Bob Mueller's job to sort that out. Thank you, sir. Um, the, the president has repeatedly talked about the Russian investigation into the U.S. Uh, or the Russian, Russia's involvement in the U.S. election cycle as a hoax and as fake news. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw as FBI director, and obviously only the parts that you can share in this setting, uh, that, uh, that demonstrate how serious this action actually was and why there was an investigation in the first place? Yes, sir. The, there should be no fuzz on this whatsoever. The Russians interfered in our election during the 2016 cycle. They did it with purpose. They did it with sophistication. They did it with overwhelming technical efforts. And it was an active measures campaign driven from the top of that government. There is no fuzz on that. It is a high confidence judgment of the entire intelligence community. And, and the members of this committee have uh, seen the intelligence. It's not a close call. That happened. That's about as unfake as you can possibly get and is very, very serious, which is why it's so refreshing to see a bipartisan focus on that, because this is about America, not about any particular party. Why do you believe you were fired? I guess I don't know for sure. I believe the pre I take the president at his word that I was fired because of the Russia investigation. Something about the way I was conducting it, the president felt created pressure on him that he wanted to relieve. Again, I didn't know that at the time, but I've watched his interview, I've read the press accounts of his conversations, so I take him at his word there. Now look, I, I could be wrong, maybe he's saying something that's not true, but I take him at his word, at least based on what I know now. What was your impression and what did you mean by this notion of a patronage relationship? Well, it, my impression, and again, it's my impression, I could always be wrong, but my common sense told me that what was going on is either he had concluded or someone had told him that you didn't, you've already asked Comey to stay, and you didn't get anything for it. And that the dinner was an effort to build a relationship, in fact he asked specifically, of loyalty in the context of asking me to stay. And as I said, what was odd about that is we'd already talked twice about it by that point, and he'd said, uh, I very much hope you'll stay, I hope you'll stay. In fact, I just remembered sitting here a third one. When my common sense, again, I could be wrong, but my common sense told me what's going on here is there, He's looking to get something in exchange for granting my request to stay in the job. Cubi se reunió dos veces con Barack Obama en el término de tres años, una de ellas para despedirse brevemente. Con Donald Trump se reunió, se reunió nueve veces en apenas cuatro meses. Natasha. Bueno, la sentencia de los influyentes diarios de los Estados Unidos dicen simplemente esto. Comey puede ser un filtrador de información a la prensa, pero no es un criminal. Pausa, volvemos. Todavía nos queda mucha información.